Personal protective equipment when doing it yourself. Hey guys, it's Corey with Sunlight Contractors. Uh, in this video, I wanted to touch on something we haven't thus far, uh, and that's really the safety aspect of when you're installing spray foam. Um, some jobs call for, uh, if it's a really small job, uh, it's going to actually cost you more to have a company like me come out just due to labor charges and, and everything else. Um, so it would be more cost effective to do it yourself. And uh, There may be people out there that have already decided to do it themselves and have already looked into it. Uh, they do sell low pressure spray foam kits. Uh, they kind of look like propane tanks, like what you would cook on a barbecue grill with. Um, but just because they're low pressure and just because they're available to you as a consumer doesn't mean that they're not uh, unsafe. Um, not to say that spray foam is unsafe. Uh, once installed and fully cured, uh, spray foam is 100% safe. Um, the part where it is somewhat hazardous and toxic uh, is during the install. Um, you always see in our videos that we're in a full chem suit. We've always got gloves on. Um, you don't want to make contact with this stuff when you're installing it. Uh, the chemicals on their own can be somewhat toxic. Uh, and more importantly, the off-gassing that comes off of the foam while you're applying it uh, can be toxic. Uh, more importantly, uh, in an attic or in some closed off space where there's not going to be a whole lot of natural ventilation, uh, the buildup of that off-gassing chemical uh, could really become a, a problem for you uh, when it comes to respiratory. Um, but in either case, um, especially with the, the low pressure spray foams, typically they're closed cell. Uh, the open cell that we spray uh, is a water blown agent. Uh, it still is something that you don't want to breathe, uh, but it's less toxic than say the closed cell that's a, a freon blown substance. But anyways, let me get into some of the uh, PPE that I have on and that I have next to me. Uh, stuff that we use every day, uh, and stuff that is really necessary for you, you, you to use uh, if you're going to be doing it yourself. Um, of course, as you can see, I have the whole suit on. Uh, you can get the Tyvek suit. You can get all this stuff uh, from Home Depot um, or, or Northern Safety or any online safety place. Uh, but you want to have a full chem suit on. You don't want to have one of the ones that's kind of like a cheesecloth where you can see through it. Because um, if air can pass through it, generally speaking, the chemicals can too. And uh, like we said, the, the point of this PPE is to limit your exposure uh, to the chemicals that you're spraying into your house. We encapsulated Manny's attic out in Slidell, Louisiana. Manny chose the most skilled and licensed contractors in the state to insulate his attic. As Corey stated, PPE equipment is very important when considering doing it yourself. PPE is required for anyone who's in the area of the spray foam application. It is critical to avoid inhaling fumes and contact to the eyes and the skin. PPE to consider includes protective clothing such as chemically resistant coveralls, gloves, eye and face protection, and respiratory protection. Like any professional should, we take personal protective equipment very seriously. Enjoy cleaner air in your home after encapsulating your attic with open cell. Spray foam provides a lifetime of environmental and economical benefits. Sunlight Contractors LLC. Check out our website at www.sunlightcontractors.com. You can reach us at 504-222-2082 and our address is 2323 Bainbridge Street, Suite 110, and that's in Kenner, Louisiana, 70062.